you want to do. Put it right in there. The whole bag is 10 grams of carbs, and it's all coming from fiber. Just like so. Chop asparagus and chopped onions, and that's all going to go in there as well. Chopped peppers, those are also going to go in there. Chopped uh, mushrooms. Boom. Huge pan of food right here. And this whole thing is like 100 calories of vegetables. Fish or steak or whatever kind of meat, it's all good. Um, and then I'm going to use some low sodium taco seasoning. Now, I'm not really trying to watch my sodium, but that's just what I had. So I'm going to put this entire container right up in there. A little bit of water and that will evaporate out. Stir it around. And then it's gonna sit on high for a minute. So the, the rice is pretty much done. The peppers and veggies are all soft. So we're gonna move to the next part of the video. Okay, so everything I need for this burrito bowl is here. And so what I'm gonna do is start by putting my rice on the plate. Now, watch how much rice I'm gonna get out of this. So this is obviously enough for me and my fiance. But there's probably gonna be about two thirds of it's gonna be mine because she doesn't need as much as I do. But look at that, that's a whole plate there. And then, so we have a meat that we cooked earlier this week, and so I don't even have to cook the meat. But I have chicken breast, uh, chicken thighs, ground chicken. So the chicken thighs, for eight ounces of this, you get about 50 grams of protein and eight grams of fat. For a chicken breast, you get about the same amount of protein for only three grams of fat. Now there's a five gram of fat difference, but the flavor for a chicken thigh is so much better. Um, so today I'm going to be using uh, chicken breast, and I've already weighed out this portion, this one's 8 ounces. For me, that's the amount of protein I'm looking to have, so it's going to go on there. I'm going to cut that up in a minute. And now if you really want to set this off, grilled corn on the cob is super sweet, and it is amazing on this. So I'll use half of this cob here for this uh, bowl, and I'll just shave that on there. So this is pretty much the whole deal here. Um, now for things that I'm gonna use to flavor it just a little bit more, Trader Joe's sells this cowboy caviar. There are six grams of carbs per serving, but a serving goes pretty far. It's a mix of black beans and corn. It has like a smoky sweet flavor. And for sour cream, I just use zero fat Greek yogurt. Trader Joe's also has something that I just got hip to. It's called a reduced gilt guacamole. We just bought tonight, we're gonna try it out. Artichoke jalapeno dip, and this is also great on macronutrients as well. Wonton strips, but I'm not going to use them. That's the burrito bowl. And so this entire thing, about 300 to 350 calories, and you could have two of them and you'd be stuffed. And I'll leave the macros in the description.